What's up team? Today we're going to be doing an awesome experiment. We're going to be trying to re-break a record that we set right here on the Nickipedia show and that is the largest soda mentos geyser ever. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this device which is an extended mentos dropper with a new top, nice and sharp and super cool. We're also going to, going to be um, heating up our diet soda to get the tallest soda mentos geyser ever. But there's no way of actually seeing if that's possible without testing. So let's get to testing. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through how this is going to go in the stepwise fashion. So, in station one over here, this is the filling station. Now what we've done is we've put all this ice down in here so that we get the soda at its coldest point. Now the reason we did that is because carbonation likes to sit inside of cold liquids. What that means is, is that we can keep more of our CO2 dissolved in a colder liquid. So that's why we kind of put that on ice. We let it chill. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're going to pour that super cold liquid into this bottle. We're gonna cap it off. Then we're going to take this tape and we're gonna tape it off there. So it's nice and solid. So we're gonna keep all the CO2 possible. Cause really the CO2 in a way is sort of the fuel for this experiment to happen properly. Then what we're gonna do We'll come over here to station number two. This is the heated up stage where things are about to get lit. <laughs> what? And we're going to bring our uh, five gallons of diet soda up to about 150 degrees ish if the bottle will let us. If the bottle explodes, that's bad. So then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it out of there. It's gonna be nice and taped up. And then we're gonna attach our Soda Mentos uh, dropper device that we got 3D printed from the LACI, the Los Angeles Clean Tech Incubator. Thank you guys for doing that. And we're going to see how tall of a Soda Mentos geyser we can work. Pretty good for not doing any carbonation on it. Um, I feel pretty good about that. All the all the soda or all the all the Mentos went in there. I think we can do better, and so we're gonna try to replicate what we did the very first time in a way, recarbonating the soda. Uh, if that does in fact make a difference, then I'm gonna do this for the Today Show because I'm actually doing this whole video for the Today Show, uh, which hopefully you guys cut. Um, and so we're gonna keep rock and rolling, and we're gonna do the thing all over again except we're gonna reintroduce some more CO2, a little CO2 canister back here, and then we're gonna go for it. We're gonna give it another shot. Ooh. Here's the blockage. <laughs> Is it carbonated? We are a taste tester. Not flat. It really is flat. All right, so here's what we learned. We learned that doing the whole recarbonation process doesn't do anything. So when I do this for the Today Show, I'm definitely not gonna screw around with it being carbonated. Like, I mean, one extra process, I guess we're really, I, I don't know, I really don't know. Cause the first time we ever did this, it worked strikingly well. I think the thing to focus on is pouring slowly, pouring cold soda very slowly, and then warming it up uh, very quickly. So. Um, I think that's what we're gonna have to do for the Today Show because, well, when it's on live TV, we don't want it to be, we don't want it to get all messed up. That'd be bad. What's up, team? Okay, so we're back here at the Nickpedia Lab. It's in the morning. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be standardizing this uh, experiment. So it kind of went from like we're gonna break the record to we're gonna make sure that we can do this record-breaking experiment the same every time, all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the soda and I'm going to deep freeze it for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna pour them into our five-gallon container and then I'm gonna put them in a warming bath that's around 200 degrees for another 30 minutes, and then we're gonna drop the Mentos. We're also gonna do this as a comparison uh, against just a regular two liter, uh, just to see the height difference, because that's exactly what we're gonna be doing for the Today Show. And in science, you really don't have results, you don't have a proven result unless you can duplicate your experiment. So we're going to duplicate our experiment, that way we have proven results and we can actually do this again, maybe for the live show. Like maybe we want to do this a couple times for the Traveling Nickipedia show. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And let's get it tested. 
All right, should be good to go. I just gotta pull the pin. That was pretty good. Um, that soda was at room temperature. I would say that, that went pretty high. That was almost like, what, 10, 15? I'd say 15 feet. That's pretty high. Yeah. Okay, so the point of this test is to show the difference between uh, warm soda and cold soda. So the last one was pretty warm. It had been sitting now, it's about 84 degrees right now. Uh, the one, This other one's been sitting in an ice bath. So let's see what happens. Look at the difference. Holy crap. Now, if that doesn't prove my point, I don't know what does. What this is really telling us is, when you have cold soda, it really hangs on to the CO2. I mean, that didn't go more than four inches. The other one, which had been sitting out in the sun, went a lot higher. We're talking almost 15 feet. Now, our water bath isn't quite as hot as we wanted to yet, but I have one more two liter. Um, that's just been sitting in my car, it's really hot. So let's bring that up to, as I don't know, we'll, we'll find out, 150 degrees or so, and we'll see how high it goes. All right, so this is gonna happen, I assume, quicker than the last one. <laughs> okay, as you guys can see, much more violent, uh, happened a lot faster, it really confirmed my belief that warming the soda, having the uh, the warmer the soda, the higher the fountain will go. And so putting our, uh, our, our mega container inside of the uh, warming bath, I think that has been the key all along. We're gonna go ahead and do this, fingers crossed, because I don't wanna be on today's show, 12 million live viewers, and then, um, you know, things don't go right. So let's do it. All right, here we go. That did exactly what we, what we wanted it to do. Okay, so there we go. We have replicated our experiment, which is great, because if you can do an experiment twice, you get the same results, that confirms that what your experimentation has done, or what your experiment is, is like legit. It's, it's kind of, you know, in the science world, you have to be able to replicate your results, and so we did. I wrote everything down, I almost have like a recipe now, so we could do this experiment anywhere. I also feel really good about the fact that we, we spent so much time doing this, um, that, there was, there was time in between taking it out of the water bath and it just sitting in the open atmosphere. What that tells me is, is that I can start this at the beginning of the Today Show segment and then we can go through all the other experiments and get this at the end and that we will not have lost all of our CO2. Um, if you like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, are you super stoked that we actually got it, we figured out a way to replicate this process identically? Um, also, please let me know if you saw the Today Show segment. Uh, hopefully it went good. <laughs> if you haven't yet, hit that uh, subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.